Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, this very day, I'm going to pray specifically about stress and anxiety during times of exams and assignments and all the piling tests that you may be having at this time. We're going to pray for wisdom. We're going to pray for knowledge. We're going to pray for understanding that God would give you a clear understanding and give you that past result that you need. Whatever that test is, whether it be a driving test, whether it be an exam to upgrade to the next level in your workplace, whether it be in primary school, kindergarten, high school, whether it be in university, whether it be in tertiary, whatever that is. But we know that also as we come closer to the end of your semester or the end of your year, Lord, it can be a challenging and a stressful time for all ages of students. The pressure mounts, exams approach and the schedules fill up and the to-do lifts are never ending. But it can seem daunting and overwhelming or even impossible to get through. But testing Seasons cause anxiety and students begin to place their value more on exam grade. But the truth is, though we go through these things, God is always with us, always fighting for us and is always faithful to us in our success and in our struggles at school or workplace or wherever it is. And the Lord never fails us and never gives up on us. He is worthy to trust and our all of giving all of our praise. We hope Lord, that even as we go through this time, that these particular scriptures will give comfort and the prayers that we're going to give today. So through God's word, we gain an understanding that God is the one who gives us the gift of knowledge. That is an understanding and awareness of something. And just as Solomon cried out to God, he had a dream and God came to him and says, what can I do for you? And he says, as you were with my father, David, so shall you be with me. But Lord, I pray that you would give me wisdom to govern your people. And God gave him wisdom and God gave him blessing and wealth beyond his imagination because he never asked for it. He gave him victory over all of his enemies because he did didn't ask to defeat his enemies, but he asked for wisdom that he may manage God's people. So let's look at the word of God. Proverbs 2 verse 6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom for his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 1 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Psalm 19 verse 2 says, Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. That is what the word of God does. Proverbs 18 verse 15, the heart of a discerning acquires knowledge for the ears of the wise seek it out. Proverbs 15 verse 14, the discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of the fool feeds on folly. Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 2, my son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. That is what the word of God does to everyone every person that seeks him in wisdom. 19, Psalm 119 verse 66, teach me knowledge and good judgment for I trust your commands. That's what we've got to do. We've got to trust in the word of God. Proverbs 1 verse 29, it says, since they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Let us choose to fear the Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2 says, the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of cancel, of might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. May they rest upon you this day. Proverbs 20 verse 15, gold there is and rubies in abundance, but the lips that speak wisdom are a rare jewel. May the Lord give us knowledge at this time. Let us now put on these scriptures in a time of worry and anxiety. For the Bible says in Matthew 6 verses 24 to 26, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life of what you will eat or drink or about your body or what you'll wear for is not life more important than food and your body more important than clothes as it says in the word of God it says in Matthew 6 verse 34 it says therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble 
on its own. But we see that also, according to the word of God, it says no matter what the result of the examination might be, God still loves us, protects us, and will walk with us. We can trust him with our lives because he has created us, and ultimately he knows what is best for us, and we our promises are in him, and they are forever. For surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That's what God's reassuring love for us is. As it says in Luke 11 verse 9, I tell you, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock on the door shall be opened to you. Do not worry about anything, but I pray about everything with a thankful heart. Offer it up to your prayers and your request to God. That's what Philippians 4, 6 and 7 says. It's to be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer or supplication, let your request be made known to God that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And in Psalm 121, this is a good scripture to meditate on before going into a test or an exam or whatever it is, whether it's a driving test, whether it's a a university, whether it's tertiary, whether it's high school, whether it's primary school, whatever it is, this prayer is for you today. I look to the mountains. Does my strength come from the mountains? No, my strength comes from God who made the heavens and the earth and the mountains because he won't let you stumble your guardian God won't fall asleep no not on your life Israel's guardian will never doze or sleep God's your guardian right at your side to protect you to shield you to from sunstroke sheltering you from moonstroke God guards you from every evil he guards your very life he guards you when you leave he guards you when you return he guards you now and he will always guard you God has given us strength in his scripture Deuteronomy 31 6 it says be strong and courageous and do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you and will never leave or forsake you Galatians 6 9 says this let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a good harvest if we do not give up do not give up all that hard work you've done with your study will come in at the right time just trust the Lord Isaiah 40 verses 21 to 31 says this he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak even youths grow tired and weary and the young man may even stumble and fall but those that wait upon the Lord he will renew their strength and they will soar on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint. The word of God says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper for you, that you will do not harm and plans to give you a future and a hope. Father God, we ask right now, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, that you will be with us as we take on these tests, the exams, the assignments that are piling up. Give us and keep our mind alert and our memory sharp, calm our nerves and help us concentrate. Lord, that we know that you walk with us, guiding us, Lord, on the path and inspire our hearts. Lord, we pray, the Lord, that we would feel that you are with us as you are always at our sides, that you would soften the pressure that we feel. We pray that you would pass, Lord, and give us the strength to pass this exam, to go on to new things with you. We thank you for the peace and love that is in life and is and the insurance of having you by our side as we stand upon the promises of God. Heavenly Father, only your peace can sustain us through anxiety and stresses of these exams, of these assignments, of these tests, whatever it is that we're passing through give us and sustain and calm our nerves. Your peace surpasses all understanding. We ask that this gift and we choose to lean upon you at this time. Lord, come and remind us of your unfailing love. Lord, that we will never ever forget you, but we hold on to you right now and understanding of you and that you will cherish us forever. We lay down our fears before you and leave them at the foot of the cross right now for you have overcome the world and we choose to give you all of our concerns. 
concerns, worries and fears and failures. And we trust your loving hand will hold us through these exams, these assignments, these test periods, whatever it is that we're facing right now, because you want to give us a, a future and a hope. We want to prepare for that exam. So Heavenly Father, Lord, as we get ourselves ready for these forthcoming exams, we ask you to give us wisdom and strength and really, Lord, that you would get hold of our hearts and our minds that we may properly prepare, keep our minds from nervous distractions, give us perfect peace in our hearts as we make us and make ourselves ready, Lord, for these things that have come before us. Thank you, Father, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to study that you have given us, Lord, throughout the past months and weeks. But Lord, help us and equip us, give us the right knowledge and qualifications for our future work, for our future uh, promotions. Thank you that you have been with us throughout this course and we hope and strength and know that you are with us to the very end. Your righteousness, your right hand will guide us and move us forward. Oh Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn new skills, to stretch our understanding. Thank you for guiding us through this time of study into even final exams. We lay before you all the hopes and fears that we have of the outcome and that we may place peace within our hearts and we know that you're with us. Thank you that we have safely held in your love and thank you for whatever happens in the future that we will live in the goodness and walk with you always. We thank you, Heavenly Father, as we sit here waiting to take these exams. We ask that you would be with us throughout the entire time. Fill our hearts. Lord, fill it with peace and sincerity. And we pray, Lord, clearly throughout these exams that we may answer the questions well, whatever it is, multiple choice. Lord, whether it be written exams, whatever it is, you will give us the strength. Lord, we ask that you will make sense of all the things that we need to give through right now. Dear, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you would also be with us. Lord, prepare our hearts that we may be it. Lord, we pray, Lord, that through this stressful season that we may be overwhelmed by the mountain of work ahead for us, but we trust in you. And we know that when we put our faith in you and when we when we come across and met, know that they have faith as small as the mustard seeds, as it says in Luke 17, verse 6, that miracles can be accomplished. And we pray that as we study, even in the coming weeks and the tests that are before us, that we soak up the knowledge and memorize the facts as we read and process and write the things that you would be renewing our mind and strengthening our spirit. Help us to persevere through the massive to-do list and the busy schedules and help us to keep our eyes fixed on you throughout this entire period. Lord, we also ask, Lord, that as we enter into our classrooms and exam rooms, the Lord, we pray that you would blanket us with your peace and ease our anxieties and cause the restlessness of our minds and give us the focus and the task at hand. We pray that you would give us the worth in you alone and not in any grade, but we know that our, our worth comes from you. Any assignment, tests or teach your options, we pray that you would, Lord, remove all fear and your parents presence during the exams would overshadow us and give us peace, that you would comfort us and we would know that your nearness to us is so near. Thank you for the gift of these education that you've given to us and we pray that these final exams would be a celebration of all that we've ever learnt in this season and that we would be grateful in your mighty name. We give you all glory for what you're going to do in the future. We know we cannot do it in our own strength, our own mind, but give us an excellent spirit as you gave Daniel. You would also give us that we would honour you with everything. Heavenly Father, release your anointing upon them right now from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet right now. Remove every distraction, every demon assignment to take us away and stop us from progressing forward. Those people that have had to repeat years, I pray and declare they shall not repeat that year again, but they shall pass and be an overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this, that they shall pass this exam, that they shall receive credits, that they shall mount up with wings and like eagles, they shall run and not go weary, they shall walk and not faint. I pray a blessing upon their minds, Lord, that you would search 
search their hearts and search their minds and Holy Spirit you'll bring a remembrance of those things that they have studied in that time that they have worked hard Lord I thank you for them for Lord for what they have sowed they shall reap and I pray for a miraculous thing for them to pass Lord where the enemy has tried to hinder them in the past that shall not be so in the name of Jesus Christ it shall be your portion you shall pass you shall excel you shall have an excellent spirit declares the Lord I declare it upon their lives in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus this is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth Western Australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ Shalom Shalom Hallelujah